Hi, so this is my first Halloween video and this look is inspired by this girl and I didn't want it to be too similar so I guess I'm the love child of um, Pennywise and Joker and well whichever you prefer <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry I already did my hair off cam I my mom and I curled it but it just so we just I just made it a little bit on the vintage side and now I'm concealing my eyebrows because I don't know and for a moment I kind of liked it and I probably shouldn't but yeah and I was going to make it green but it um no just no so now I'm going to put on my prosthetics but um first I'm going to put on a line on my face so that it will be easier like there will be a guide of where I will be putting it. It's honestly funny how I'm doing this. Well, I did it so late at night. That's actually the reason why I wasn't talking in the video. So now, voice over for me is here. And I'm also doing this late at night. But that night, I even had like an exam scheduled the day after. Like, oh, so great. Um, now I'm actually putting on the prosthetics and I can barely see what I'm doing. I don't know if it's because it's so late at night or because of the lighting or the mirror was too far. Um, yeah, I, I don't know you guys, just my eyes. So I went off cam and did it on a mirror that... I can see myself and I just I miss doing this I well this is actually the first time that I did it on my own um, my friends my high school friends taught me how to do it and I just miss being creepy creepy but then Yusuf wasn't really that creepy but my mom did get scared staring at me, so th that's a success. Before I edited this video, I actually watched a commentary on Ready or Not, and I loved it. And now, I'm going to find time to watch the actual movie. If you guys don't know what it is about, it's a girl who married into this family and just that family is just so creepy like they have a family tradition that involves killing so yeah i'm going to watch it soon and now i'm i'm just tired and anyways i took a toothpick and like made this effect on the prosthetics like you know what happens when you get a wound pick just when you do this, if you plan on doing this, just don't harm yourself with, it, with the thing that you're going to use. Like, we don't want actual wounds on your face. I didn't really plan on making a Halloween video. I was in the process of editing another one. And then, you know what? It's October. Halloween. Let's just do it. Together, we are giving birth to Pennyker or Joe Wise or whatever you want Pennywise and Joker's child to be named and I don't even like it what am I what am I talking about okay now I, I'm putting on my foundation and I'm not really sure see I'm hearing kids in the background I hate this so much I'm putting on foundation foundation and I'm not really sure if I should have done this before putting on the prosthetics but it's okay because it still worked and that's what matters we make things work so here I am using the color board palette from beauty glaze and I added in colors like purple green blue um, I mixed purple with brown so that it will be more realistic and I can't really explain it to you guys in a more detailed way because 
it's been a while since I actually like tried to learn how to do this. Like, it's been years since I last searched. So just I'll let you guys learn from what you are seeing rather than what I'm saying, okay? But just for pointers, I'm doing this to make the wound more realistic and it has more depth and more alive. Like, you know when a wound um, came from something that is rough and hard, it's like, it has like a bruise around it. That's what I was going for. So I made the edges more rough and like violet color, purple or whatever. And it's a little red so that it's it looks more fresh. And I also put in put on bruises on my lips so that it'll be like you know, I made a character in my head that I'm the love child of Pennywise and Joker and I'm like not the type of girl that is being stereotyped by many someone who is a damsel in distress um, I want to be the one that is a fighter like I just came from battle <laughs> using the same palette I dipped into different shades of green so that my eyeshadow would be would have different layers to it and then I also use a yellow shade to blend out the outermost part. It also, of course, it also matches my hair. I did the same thing on the other eye, so I just didn't include that. And now I am bronzing my face so that it won't be one-dimensional. It won't be just one shape because we want shadows in your face. Still structure and blending it into the eye eyebrows forehead I mean and now I am trying to contour my nose but that didn't work out because I used a warm shade uh, uh huh look at that face no see the shade this time I used a more cool tone shade so that that worked and now I am I'm lazy so instead of going to the kitchen to get water I use the face spray because it's just there I didn't want to stand up and I use that to wet the eyeshadow that I will use to make a cat eye I use an eyeshadow instead of a liquid eyeliner because I was I was aiming for a more softened eyeliner rather than a harsh one and then I also put one on near my teardrop I forgot the lingo to use but I didn't really commit to it so I smudged it like I cried yeah you can see that why probably because I always cry so stay true to myself And that is me practicing in the mirror. <gasps> so I just added more bruises on my lips because yeah, I came from the battlefield. Now I am going to put highlights, a highlighter on my face, and then oh, I I have not yet put blush. And we need that. I'm not a dead character, so I want it to still look alive and glamorous. So yeah, now we're putting the highlighter. We got love highlighter, you know, like, the sun is gonna hit so right on your face. It's gonna look so beautiful. Like, if you have appreciation for highlighter, I love you. Oh wait, nope.
So this is me saying that I'm going to put on my lashes off cam by here I am with lashes on and the lashes actually broke but I still put it on. This is so fashionable but I'm putting on a, a handprint on my neck like yeah like I said I made this character in my head and she's like she fought with people especially she fought with men because she is so tired of the patriarchal patriarchal oh my god patriarchal society that she is in and she isn't going to back down like i hope i'm always like that but she is gosh this can easily be transformed into a kink we cannot go there okay please that's me <laughs> yeah that's me showing the fake blood and it was more thick than what is usually used because I wasn't going to make a video out of it I was just gonna take pictures and like if I'm going to attend parties I don't want the blood dripping on everything so it's more thick and I actually used my liquid lipsticks because I just mix different colors because I didn't I don't have time to DIY a legit fake blood. I thought I was done but I also put on the blood on my fingers, my hands, my knuckles, my that shot. I don't do that in real life and I don't think I ever will. Violence is a no no. This is just a character. This is just a story in my head. Okay. Okay. And I'm sorry if I sound so tired. But I, but I think you guys will understand because most of us are in that place. In that situation right now. So, yeah. That is, a, that is the end of the video. And I'm going to take pictures. Picture time. Ta-da! Dun dun. Oh, ganda oh. E, back. Yeah. Okay, hyping myself up. Back yet. Go follow me on my Instagram. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video. May tumatahol. Bakit ganun?